We are here to inspire and empower you and ignite the fire of success within you so that you can ignite and take flight in every area of your life. Hello, everybody. It's great to see you again here on the Lotus Roche Ignite Show. Thank you for standing by and coming in with us. So go ahead and tell a friend, tell a friend of me it's time to win. I want you to come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in because I've always got room around my table for you. So come on in tonight. I've got a spectacular guest. She is going to uplift you, empower you, encourage you, and inspire you and take you a little bit higher. So come on in and make sure, I always say this, go grab you something good to drink. So tonight, I already pre-prepped and you can see it's hot right out of there. I like to get, get a good hot drink because it's good for the throat. So those of you that are presenters or speakers or whatever, some good lemon tea always works, but I'm drinking a little bit of coffee tonight and I'm going to take a sip and you should too. Here we go. Oh, that's good. That's good. So those of you just, just coming in, we just took a sip. So like I always go ahead and get you some Get you something that's going to quench your thirst. Get you something that's going to make you feel good. Oh, and don't forget to get your Ignite's cup too, okay? So make sure you get your Ignite's cup. So with that being said, tonight I've got a phenomenal guest. You're going to love her. She's amazing. I had the pleasure of being on her show recently, and the interview was phenomenal. She blew my socks off. That's what I said. She blew my socks off. She is a powerhouse and a wealth of knowledge and you are going to love her. And so I say, I want to say hi to Daisy. How you doing, sis? Mwah. Love you. All the way from South Carolina. It's great to see you. I am super happy uh, that you're here. And uh, I thank you for the other person, the Facebook user said, I, I'm, I am scheduled to watch. I know it's going to be explosive. You are correct. I wish we could see who you are, but let us know where you're coming in from uh, because we definitely want to know where you're coming in from. Okay. Thank you so much. And mwah, kisses right back to you, Daisy. And hello to Angela Elteen and so many other people that are streaming in. And we are about ready to get ready to win. Okay. So as I always say, go ahead, get your notepad and get your pen, get your pen. Here <clears throat> on my notes, I got a secret formula that I'm working on. Why? Because note takers are money makers. That's what I said. Note takers are money makers. So let's get right into it. Tonight, I have a phenomenal guest. She is a, a featured contributor of Bid Catalyst 360 radio talk show. She's a radio sh talk show host of Free to Be Show. That's the show I was on. And folks, it is amazing. So if you are somebody out there and you want to be free to be who you are, you need to be on this broadcast because she's going to set your soul on fire tonight. She also is the founder of At Work Around My Day. And she is a former radio hostess of Replenish Me at Life Coach Radio. But guess what? She recreated herself. That's what I said. She recreated herself. You know why? Because she wanted to ensure that as life moved on, she could move on too. And she's going to tell us a little bit about how she recreated herself and why. Because many of you are trying to recreate yourself and wondering how to do it. Well, tonight we're going to give you some nuggets to make sure you're able to do it for yourself as well. So go ahead, tell your friends, tell your frenemies to come on in, come on in, because it's time to win. And come on in and get in where you're fitting, because I've always got room around my table for all of you. And blessings right back to you as well. Let us know where you're coming in from. So we are about to get this show started, and I hope you are full hearted with love for my guest and your friend, 
because it's time to win. So come on in. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Lotus for Shay Ignite Show. We are here to inspire and empower you and ignite the fire of success within you so that you can ignite and take flight in every area of your life. We are here tonight with another great show with another powerful influencer that is intended to be here just for you. So come on in, come on in. It's time to win. Go tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your grandchildren, tell everybody that you know to come on in because it's time to win. Oh, and don't forget to tell your frenemies because they need the same information too. So tonight I've got a fabulous guest. She is, as I said earlier, she's a featured contributor on Biz Catalyst 360. She's a radio talk show host of Free to Be Show. Amazing show. She's a founder at Workout Around My Day and a former radio hostess of Replenish Me at Life Coach Radio. So some of you may be saying, hmm, Wow, she sounds really, really familiar. She sounds amazing. You darn tootin', she's amazing. And I want to share with you her beautiful face. She is just amazing. So I want you to virtually put your hands together for my phenomenal guest and your guest too, the remarkable Cordelia Gaffar. Hey there. Hey, how are you? I am wonderful. Good to see you today. How are you doing? I'm happy to be here. Um, I, I love talking to you, Lotus. You are, you know, you really ignite my fire and help me to take flight and go higher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, uh, Cordelia, I want to thank you for being on the show, but I, I definitely want to thank you for having me on your show. Your show is the bomb.com. I had a wonderful time. You are so inspiring and empowering. Uh, and, and really, folks, after the sh well, in between the show on the break, we just talked and, and it was amazing. And then after the show, we talked some more. And Cordelia is going to tell you guys what we talked about later. But Cordelia, I've, I've talked to the folks. I let them know a little bit about who you are. But I'd love for you to share some more with us about who you are and where you're from. And so those of you that are ready to get your socks knocked off, go ahead and put a two, a number two in the comment block below. Because she's not just going to knock one of your socks off. She's going to knock all both of your socks off. So put a two in the comment block below. So Cordelia, could you please share with us? Tell us a little bit about... Um, yourself and what you do uh, to help make this world a better place. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm going to start by saying the things that I want people to know about me and, you know, the things that maybe most people do know about me, like the fact that I'm the best, I, I was um, awarded best post podcast host of 2019 um, in London, England at Powerhouse Global and that I call myself the emotions opener. And I'm a, what is it? I think now three time best-selling author. Yep. However, what people, what most people don't know about me is that it took me three weeks to receive that award in my heart. And it took me 13 years to uh, finally stop naysaying myself so that I could write even one book. Yes. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that may not be familiar with Powerhouse Global, this is a huge movement. And I'm going to share the page with you, if I may. Yeah. Um, Powerhouse Global is a phenomenal award and such an honor to be had. And um, Cordelia, she achieved this award. And I just wanted to make sure you know the magnitude of this award and she'll share it with you. So thank you so much for letting me share that. Absolutely. And and Lady Anita Bradshaw is um, uh, amazing. She's a very gracious hostess and um, I love her platform and everything she's about. So it was a, it was a great honor. 
um, to be there and to be, you know, awarded. In fact, she may, I didn't even know what the award was going to be. She was just like, yes. you've received an award. <laughs> and so <laughs> it was, it was a great surprise, but, um, you know, I, I think it's very important that people recognize that, you know, yes, I've achieved these things, but just like everybody else, I, I suffer from imposter sim syndrome, but I, I have to say, um, it, I think, and Anenin says it best. And the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. So I I had to let my um, my beauty and my purpose out in the world. And I'm also a student of uh, history and science. And I use a lot of the ancient traditions, neuroscience and nutrition for complete emotional wellness. And that's right. what I call my program, Replenish Me. Mm -hmm. And um, and the thing I like about studying history is I love to see all the similarities, but also to amplify the beauty of the differences of humanity. But what you know, I don't want you to know about me is that I, I really just don't feel that humanity's up to the task of living in peace, love, and harmony, because until we are up to the task of welcoming our own emotional wellness, yes. we're not going to want that for our brother and sister. That's powerful. That's powerful. And you know, Cordelia, we are seeing a lot here and globally, I was going to say in the United States, but we're seeing this globally where we are not being as loving towards our fellow person. And it's really daunting. And so many people are just in a state of uh, just hurt. One, first and foremost, people were hurt, people are confused, and people are not as loving as we should be and are really designed to be because we come from love. We come from God. We come from source energy. So I'm really happy that you share that with us because it is unequivocal that that's where we are. But the question then becomes, how do we get back to that great place? How do we do, how do we get there? It's, you know, slowing it down with each interaction with ourselves in the moment. Yes. Just simply breathe and say, I love you. You know, I know a lot of people uh, talk about mirror work and that's yes. not the easiest thing to do. Um, right. To look in your mirror, look in the mirror in the morning right. without all the extra shine and, you know, mm -hmm. stuff that we've put on today. And, uh, and just, you know, look into your own eyes and say, I love you. Yes. I like that you said breathe too, because mm -hmm. breathing is really an art when we really breathe right. And a lot yes. of people that practice yoga learn how to breathe. And 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 one of the ladies on uh, one of my new shows that I'm a part of, Bring Who You Are, Jemija, uh Jubilee always talks about breathe. And we do a lot of backstage work and we breathe. And, and that's really essential really when you start out in the morning and when you lay your head down at night, you have to breathe. And also, I love what you said, doing that good old mirror work. And you see, I got fingerprints all over my mirror because I use this thing, folks. I use this thing. I didn't clean it up to, to be all cute. This is the truth. You have to do the work. And mirror work is super important. So how do people learn to breathe though, Cordelia? How do we learn that? Right. So it's, um, it's really a natural flow. And what I like to say is like, um, if you close your right side, yeah, close your right side nostril mm -hmm. and inhale through your left side nostril. Mm -hmm. And then, and then breathe out through the other side that helps to get the flow of love, right? So you, you let in the love and then you let out the negative energy. Okay. So what she just showed you folks, people pay thousands of dollars to learn a lot of these things. The nuggets that Cordelia is going to drop here tonight. I hope you got your pad and pen because note takers are money makers. So 
you just showed us a very easy exercise to help us to breathe. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. So I double dog dare all of you out there to try this with me. And if you're willing to try this, go ahead and put a three in the comment bar below, because I see a lot of people streaming in. So come on and stream in because look, I saw, Hey there, Anthony, good to see you. I saw one of the healers on here. One of the healers right here, Lynn Herod Diversion, she's on here with us. And Lynn, are you going to try this with us? If you're going to try it, Anthony, uh, Angie, everybody, if you're going to try this, put a three in the comment below because we're going to take a quick break to help you work your nerve up. Because <laughs> some people saying, I might hold my nose and, and breathe in and pass out. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to pass out. I promise you, you're not going to pass out. Okay. You're not going to pass out. So I see Daisy in South Carolina. She got her three in there. So the rest of you guys and gals go ahead and put your three in there. And when we come back from this break, Cordelia is going to show us how to get in the flow and breathe. And we will be right back. So hang tight. We'll be right back. So many people out there today are saying, hey, Lotus, I want to start my own podcast. I want to do vlogs and vlogs and all that. Well, guess what? We help you with personal and business coaching. We also help you to explode your brand by upbranding. We also connect you to people beyond your front yard that don't even know you. Let us help you connect with people globally and expand your territory. Contact us today at lotusignite at gmail.com and let's schedule your discovery meeting now. I love it. I love it. Okay, folks. Cordelia is going to teach us how to get in flow and breathe. And Cordelia is, I promise you, I'm going to be back here. If something happens, you're not going to pass out. But if you think you feel faint and you want to fall back, I got you. Okay. So Cordelia, we're with you. We're ready. Okay. So it's easiest if you just do like this, right? So you take your thumb and close the right side and inhale through the left, right? So you switch and you close off the, the other side with the yes. pinky and again. So now we've only done this three times, but you should notice that your frontal lobe is being opened up. And when um, this is actually, you know, some people see it as our third eye, the opening to our crown chakra. And, but most of all, like just scientifically, this is our frontal lobe. And this is where we are designed for bliss. This opens up our bliss center quite naturally. So this opens up our bliss center. Now I've done this exercise before, but not to open up bliss. I was trying to open up my nostrils. I was climbed up. I needed to breathe. I know. Just, and, and Angie actually said, Hey, do this exercise. It'll help you. So not only does it open up our nasal passages, it also opens up our bliss. And so when you say our bliss, Tell us exactly what you mean, because some people may have never heard that word bliss. Right. So um, the, we were designed to embody joy mm -hmm. um, and we were designed to um, just naturally be centered on the good. Mm -hmm. However, during life, yes. we have been reprogrammed. Yes. Right. Um, either by society, our teachers, our parents. Right. Um, you know, sadly, you know, sometimes our worship centers, you know, to um, really focus more on the negativity and the things that we're not. 
the things right. that we cannot do, right. the things that we should not do, right? So mm -hmm. we're reprogrammed with the shaming, the guilting, the blaming, right. mm -hmm. and all of those things. And uh, those things happen in the name of discipline. Right. And usually at a very young age when our brain is developing. Mm -hmm. And so that's what becomes the muscle memory. Right. And, and you know, uh, it, it's funny that you would say that because um, on, on my new show, Bring Who You Are, we talk about domestication. And, and that's, that is, and you just said it, but you used a different term, that is uh, a part of domestication within the family. And we just talked about uh, domestication in the family. So we, we grow up oftentimes not really understanding how to get to our bliss. And even simple little exercises like this can cause us to help move into our bliss. And that is a part of what you do when you help people and you train people and you coach them to move into their bliss. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, fantastic. So uh, like I said, you, you have a, an amazing show. You help people all around the world. And, you know, I just, I feel so humbly honored to have you on the show. So what inspired you to, to be on the show? Well, you know, amazing people attract amazing people. So I saw your heart and the work that you're doing in the world. And I just wanted to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you are right because you are an amazing person. I'm an amazing person. And our viewers that come in every week, uh, week in and week out on all of our shows out there, you guys are amazing. And we super duper appreciate you. So thank you for being a part of our shows and being a part of our flow because this these shows like this really help people to get in flow and it helps them to breathe. Now, how many of you folks out there really know how to breathe? If you really know how to breathe, put a number four in the comment block below. And if you just learn a new way to breathe, because like Cordelia said, this opens the frontal lobe. If you just learn that, Put a number five in the comment below. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Put it in the comment below and I'll bring it up. And now some of you, you might get a, a little note that says, hey, let her see you on the screen. So just say yes and, and, and it'll show on the screen. I'll be happy to share your comment and your remarks on the screen. So with that being said, uh, I know you train people on how to do this and, and you, you're so inspiring. Can you tell us? how you help people to use their darkest emotions to break free from things that's kind of keeping them bound. Because I know that's like one of your sayings, you help people to break uh, or, or to use their darkest emotions. First, tell us what that means. Right. Yeah. So kind of on the heels of uh, all the negativity that we're accumulating in our body throughout our life we that develops into vocabulary because you know when we first begin we don't really have much of a vocabulary but eventually yes. we do so all those things that people said they become our self-talk right and so um that self-talk is uh that that becomes your dark emotions because the thoughts right the thoughts that you have exactly. then it it makes you have a feeling, you have a response right. in your body. So that's the emotion. And we, we have this interesting thing we do with our emotions. Mm -hmm. It's called avoidance or avoidance. ignoring, or we self-medicate. Wow. So uh, instead of, you know, and, and, and it looks like this, people will say, you know, um, I want to lose weight, right? And I'll say, okay, so why do you think you've gained weight? Oh, you know, I I love sugar or I, I can't stop eating cake or something like this. And the questions come down to the why of this. And, and it's really, you know, yes, when I was nine years old, you know, I got a 90 on my test and I got, you know, lambasted by my mom or my dad. Yes. And then my grandmother said, here's a plate of cookies. Right. right. 
And, you know, don't worry about that, baby. Don't cry. Your mom didn't mean to be mean to you. And so right. every time something goes bad and someone says something awful to you, you eat lots of cookies. Right. So it's not really the physical. The physical weight is just um, kind of a, it's a symptom of something deeper, which is the dark emotion. Right. Yeah. So I help you to release that because what's happened there is that's a situation where you, you were not meeting someone else's expectations. So you release the need to do what's expected and accept it. And then you decide what are your values and what do you really care about and what do you value? And then you work on recreating habits that honor what you value. Right. So let me ask you something because you touched on avoidance, self-medicate, and I put in denial. So let's talk about these three pieces because like you said, a lot of times people go into these behaviors because they are the core reasons why, you know, the core reasons are really what has happened oftentimes in our childhood. The core reasons are because someone told us we were fat at five years old and now we've developed bulimia at age 16 because we don't want to identify with the term fat. Now, I'm talking about uh, F-A-T, not P-H-A-T, okay? <laughs> so, so let's talk about avoidance. Why do we avoid things that cause us so much pain but if we only meet them head on and address them, we could get over them. Why do we stay stuck in avoidance? It's safe, right? Um, it, it keeps us safe to do um, what's expected because then if I do what's expected, more people will like me and then I won't have to hear them say these things. But what happens is, you're always it, it that becomes the new uh, the new medication in a way, right? You're always looking for the uh, approval of somebody else instead of uh, seeking to just please yourself and enjoy what it is that you feel is wonderful in the world. So the the meaning of our you know, leaning into our darkest emotions. And by the way, like when those triggers hit and you have that feeling in your body, it really only lasts like 90 seconds. That's like the, the, the science of emotions. But what makes it last longer than 90 seconds are the thoughts we associate with the feeling in our body. So it's like, oh, you know, I feel hurt. And instead of defaulting to what is it that, what is the opportunity? What's the learning opportunity here? We default to the, I don't like feeling hurt. How do I stop hurting? How do I stop hurting? I'm gonna, yeah, let me have, you know, more cookies. Let me have, yeah. you know, a glass of wine it becomes a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. right? So, um, but all you have to do is just stay there mm -hmm. and ask the curious questions about what's happening. Right. So, so basically you gotta stay and you got to deal with what's going on. And I tell people this all the time, baby, if you don't deal with life, life is going to deal with you. And you may not like it. You may be upset. You may be angry, but the truth is the truth and know the truth and it will unequivocally set you free. So this is what I'm saying. If you don't deal with life, life is going to deal with you and get your notepad and write this stuff down. Get your notepad and your pen because it's time to win and come on in, baby. Because if you don't deal with it, it's going to deal with you and you may not like the residual that you get. So we've got a quick question and it's from KJ Johnson. Hey, KJ, happy to have you on the broadcast. It says, why do we avoid things? And KJ said one of the reasons she believes that we avoid things is because it's safe. So if you agree, folks, 
If you agree that we avoid things because it's safe, go ahead and put a number six in the contact block below. Go ahead and put a number six in the contact block below. And baby, this is just getting started. If you are joining us, come on in. Get in where you fit in because I always got room around my table because it's time to win. I've got Cordella Jafar with us today. And honey, she is talking some serious stuff. Right now, we are talking about the reasons why people avoid things, why they self-medicate and denial. But right now we're on avoidance. So we want to go ahead and tell you that you don't have to stay stuck in avoidance. And thank you, KJ, for your question and giving us that tidbit that it's safe. That's why a lot of people stay there. If you agree with what KJ said, go ahead and put a six in the comment bar below. And Cordelia, can you share with us why people avoid things? Yeah. Um, you know, when we start associating um, those triggers with the words that were said, then we don't like the way that feels. And we want to go someplace that feels a lot better, that feels a lot safer. Um, and <clears throat> when, you know, the what we've been taught to do to keep ourselves safe, right, is kind of like the these, the example I gave with the cookies, right? So, and, you know, when you're nine, it may be cookies. And then when you're, you know, 19, it may be, you know, going to the club. And then when you're 29, it may be some other strange behavior. Like maybe now you've overcome those lower things. And now you're proving to everybody that you're this, the most wonderful accomplished person by being an overachiever and working, you know, too many hours at work. Um, or uh, maybe you were that fat kid, right? And so you spend too many hours in the gym, right? And and see, I want to recognize that, you know, being a hard worker and, you know, being in the gym too much, these are things that are not frowned upon, right? These are acceptable behaviors, but they're just as damaging, right, um, as the other behaviors, you know, where we're different, it's a different kind of self-medication, but equally right. harmful. <laughs> and, and, you know, these are the people that we call overachievers also, because they've got these chisel bodies. They've got these power jobs. Everything's power. They've, they're, they're Ivy league, many of them, but a lot of times, and I've learned this with some of my patients that they're overachievers because there was something lacking. Again, it goes right back to core reasons. Avoidance in many cases is a derivative of an escape mechanism that they're using because they're not dealing with the core reasons. So, so that, that's, that's very powerful. So thank you for sharing that. So let's talk about ASA Cordelia. Okay. Well, so, it's, um, that it's a, a yes. <laughs> Okay. So we got some sixes down there, of course, and uh, says you are so welcome. So thank you so much, KJ. We appreciate you. So let's talk about the next thing. Let's talk about the self-medication because of course, Cordelia, you know, for many years I worked as a substance use uh, uh, counselor and many people self-medicate in various ways. So let's talk about self-medication, what self-medication could be, because a lot of people think, well, if I take a whole lot of uh, cough medicine, I'm not self-medicating. I beg to differ. Yeah. Um, a, a very common one. I mean, a lot of them are, are food choices and drinking choices. So um, people that drink too much coffee, um, people that have too much tea, people that are um, hyper clean eaters, right? Because they don't want to have anything bad in their body. But here's the thing, you know, your body does adapt and it's okay to have some bad things in your body sometimes. Like, you can have a cheeseburger, you know what I mean? Or even a vegan cheeseburger. It's okay. Um, but because that helps the body to regulate, because if, if it's too clean, 
right? Then it doesn't know what to do when it's presented with something that's not clean. And it, you know, it, it's the, it's just the polar opposite of when you have like all the bad stuff and it doesn't know what to do with good stuff. Um, you know, other things that people self-medicate with, it could be, um, you know, staying in a relationship that is acceptable, right? Like you guys check all the boxes together, but you guys are just ter just toxic together. But on the outside, it looks so good. Um, shopping therapy we make we make a joke out of it but that is a form of medication <laughs> you know so um you know and, and i guess we i, I don't want to wear out the the obvious ones you know where we talk about food drinking alcohol drugs i mean yeah we know that we know that but you know i wanted to more bring yes. attention to the things that we don't know you know sometimes people are hyper religious and you know that like to a fault right yes. and uh you know to to the point that they're not even really practicing anymore right they're trying to be like um you know saints on earth and we're human same thing yes. like with the cheeseburger it's okay you you're gonna stumble sometimes <laughs> you make a mistake you know um because that's a form of your your soul and your spirit regulating itself to having this human experience as a spirit being, right? The spirit being understands the part that you're in this, this earth suit for a couple of decades, but it's just, we need to get the, the human side of us to get that, so. So I wanna step back to something that you said you talked about being on the earth uh, in, in an earth suit, right? Yeah. <laughs> so l give us a little clarity about what you mean about being in an earth suit. Because I always say that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So can you share with us a little bit about the earth suit? Right. So like what you see right now, mm -hmm. um, this is our earth suit or our human form. But uh, if you really want to get super technical on the, you know, as Ken, Dr. Candace Pert says in a lot of her books, we don't even look like this. You know, we are um, just bands of energy strung together like peptide chains. Um, so a lot of times, um, and then the name escapes me, maybe you know what I'm talking about, but they'll be like these energy field maps and so if you see what a real human looks like, it's just different colors of, uh, of energy fields. And that's really what we look like. We don't have skin. We're not black. We're not white. We're not polka dot. And so, you know, the whole racial tension thing is like ridiculous. Right. Because we all come from energy. And so with that said, I want to quickly uh, take a quick look at uh, Lynn Harrod Divergence. She's streaming in from Los Angeles um, and and California, of course, folks. And I want to say hey to Anthony R. Page. He said, yes, mirror work helps a great deal. Uh, it helps me maintain perspective. So fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. And I want to share this. Um, let me see. Let me go. Okay. This is what I, this is what I want to get to. Uh, Lynn Harrod Diverger said, I used to teach this during one of my reoccurring workshops. So what we're talking about, we have a lot of uh, light workers out there uh, that teach this. And, and, and the light workers are spiritual uh, focused folks. Okay. So she said, it's powerful. Haven't done it for a while. Thank you, Cordelia for the great reminder. So thank you, Lynn, for sharing that. And let me tell you folks, we got some powerful folks on here. Hi to uh, Barbara Austin, good to see you. Let us know where you're streaming in from. And Karen, um, KJ Johnson, I love that what she's putting in here. Um, she said, oh wow, it's the thoughts, not the action emotion that causes us to stay stuck. Yeah. And that is true. We stay stuck because of what we think about. 
when we change what we think about, what we think about changes. And you can write this down. When you change what you think about, what we think about changes. What you are evenly fixed on is what you become. It's unequivocal. So if you think you broke, if you tell yourself you broke, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay on stuck. So look in the comments and you'll see we've got notes in here. So if you haven't picked up your pad and you haven't picked up your pen, what are you waiting for? And if you haven't liked, shared, and started a watch party, I highly recommend you like, share, and start a watch party. Because we're going to go back to something we talked about. And Karen said that's really good. Sometimes people can be too religious and shop too much and also self-medicate by staying in toxic relationships. So how many of you out there have seen someone, know someone, or maybe have been that someone who stayed in a toxic relationship? And, and it doesn't mean with a, a love relationship. Yeah. It means stayed in a toxic relationship at your job. You hate the job. When you get up in the morning, you get ready to go to the job. Before you get out the house, you got a headache. Oh, God, I got to go to that job again. How many people? Ha has it happened to you? If so, put in number seven. That's the number of God. We want to bring God into this thing. God, heal us and help us. <laughs> put a number seven in the comment block below. If you have stayed at a toxic, in a toxic relationship, even with your job. Because this is something that COVID has shared with us. That mm -hmm. guess what? We can change we can recreate who we are. We don't have to stay stuck. And this is the next thing we're moving in, denial. Denial. Some of us are in denial that we don't like our jobs. Some mm. of us are even in denial that we don't like our, our love partner. And some of us are even in denial, Cordelia, that we don't like some of the things about ourselves. Because I'm going to tell you, there's some things about us as individuals that we know darn well don't serve us, but we're in denial. So how do we rise above the denial and begin to walk in the truth? How do we do that? Right, so that's where the curious questions come from, mm -hmm. right? So when you're feeling that in your body, you know, and it's just like, you know, for some reason every morning, I just can't look myself in the mirror. Or when I do, you know, my heart hurts or my stomach aches, you know, or I just feel sick all over, mm -hmm. right? And start questioning, why is that? What happened? What is it about looking at myself in the mirror yes. that, that, that uh, brings on this trigger? And, um, and then try, just try and smile at yourself. Yes. So we got a lot of seven streaming in here, Cordelia. We got some seven streaming in here. Let's say most people have been or are in toxic situations and don't even realize it. There's that. We can yeah. also be in a toxic relationship with ourselves. So this is the question, folks. This is the question. And I double dog, triple, I triple dog dare you to answer this question. How do we be in a toxic relationship and don't even realize it. I think I got the answer. Okay. Cordelia, I think I got the answer. You want me to answer that? Yeah, answer it. <laughs> Tell me. She she making me work, y'all. She working me. She working me. <laughs> I think a lot of times we are in toxic relationships or in toxic situations and don't realize it because it's become a way of life for us. Autopilot. We've taken it on right and we're on autopilot. We just doing this motion. We doing this motion. We doing this motion. Doing that motion, right? I mean, we just we doing the most and doing nothing at all, but staying stuck. So I dub I triple dog dare some of you to tell us why people are in toxic situations and relationships and don't realize it. And don't even realize sometimes it's ourselves. I I I want to know from 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 the folks out there because we've got a lot of folks. Hey, we got some answers streaming in. 
autopilot. Yes, autopilot. So, so Karen has has a question, and um, I'm gonna defer this to to uh, Cordelia. <laughs> Can you be in denial about your job, your relationship? I think we said. Yeah. A absolutely you can um because you know like w one of the things we'll do is well this is you know it can't be my job because i worked so hard to get here and right. i went to x y you know xyz job or our school to get you know all these letters behind my name so that i could be here so that i could say that i'm here exactly and just as miserable as possible but it's just like we never think to question, is this it? Right, right. That's why, true. why is, you know, why did I work so hard to get here? And, and, you know, the other part of that is, right, I don't want to not believe them, right? I don't want to not believe my mom, my dad, my, you know, my guidance counselors, my teachers, my professors. Right. They said, they told me, right? They couldn't have lied to me. They wouldn't right. have lied to me, Right. Um, but just, you know, allow yourself to, to look at the other side of that. Did you ever want to get that job in the first place? Did you ever want to get that degree in the first place? Mm -hmm. Um, and did you ever want to be with that person? Are you with that person because they have a really good resume too, right? Because, wow, you know, <laughs> I mean, like, let's wow. look at it. Wow. You said, do they have a really good resume too? So are you saying that we walking around with our resumes kind of out like, hey, this is who I am, you know, check me out, you know, bring me on for the job of being your baby boo. Right. But that's our earth suit. That's not who we are. Uh -huh. We're we're the person inside and the person maybe that we haven't even allowed ourselves to get to know to know who he or she wants to be with or who mm -hmm. she or he is aligned with mm -hmm. um, as far as purpose, job, and as far as, you know, who should be their life partner. And, you know, Cordelia, that's a powerful point that you make because a lot of times many people, especially in different cultures, not so much here in the United States, where they are partnered you know, they're matched by their families. And so they have to go into these arranged marriages. But some people, especially here in the United States, don't have arranged marriages and they get with folks and their family tells them, their best friend tells them, hey, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. If any of you know someone like that, or if that someone might be you, put a number eight in the comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Because sometimes we get involved with people and everybody in the community knows that we shouldn't be involved with them except us. And so the question becomes, why do we stay? Why are we so frightened to walk away when we find out that they're not the right person? And I've got KJ saying it could be that they don't want others to say, I told, I told you, you so. so. Yeah. So if you agree with that, go ahead and put an eight, put an eight in there. Put an eight. That's okay. Put an eight. I know I said eight twice. Put an eight. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't want people to tell you, I told you so. Yeah. But what if people, what if people feel that way, Cordelia? How can they overcome that? Because that's kind of like a chain that binds. It is. Yeah. So, you know, I, I have to just keep saying, you have to go back and look at your why, you know, really right. look at, you know, be curious about, what's really happening here? What do right. you truly desire? What are your values? What's going to honor your values? Um, if you are, and I'm, when I say like, when you're knocking up against a wall at that job or with that partner, you know, is it just because, you know, you like ham and cheese and I'm a turkey person, or is it like something way deeper than that? You know, it's like, um, I just need you to look me in my eyes the way I look myself in my eyes in the mirror, you know, and you look me in my eyes and you're just like, I just love you, baby, just for who you are. Right. Yes. And, and that person can't do that for some reason. It's a challenge. They're just like, you know what, when on a good day, if the sun's in the right angle, 
and mm -hmm. I have like five seconds, I'll do that for you. So we've got a comment and I want to take this comment from Angela Elton. She said people invest themselves and don't want to start over. Yeah. There's that. Yeah. That's, that's true because I, I can tell you Cordelia, I was in a relationship many years ago and I had been in this relationship just a little bit shy of 10 years. And I really didn't want to start over and you know, my family loves them. I love their family. We're still connected, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't want to do it, but I knew for my own best happiness, I needed to do it. Not that they had done anything wrong or cheated or there was none of that, but I knew that I needed to move on, but I was investing the time because I didn't want to start over. So if you resonate with that, if you know somebody that's ever happened to you, go ahead and put a nine in the comment below because we know we're not talking, we're not preaching to the choir. We know it because I know that some people out there have had this happen to, to them. And I wonder, what did you do to move yourself out of that relationship that you weren't happy in? whether it was with a love partner or whether it was with a job or even whether it was with a, a basketball team. Y'all know I, I used to play basketball. I do the whole cross up thing and all that, you know, even if it was a sports team, how did you move out of that? Thank you, KJ. Got some nine streaming in. How did you move out of there? And so we, we, we got to let that marinate in your mind. OK, and we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to come back and look at what you all are posting in here and we're going to address it. And right quick, I want to tell you guys, I see a lot of you are streaming in when we come back from break. I'm going to call your name. I'm going to shout you out. I'm going to say hello because I'm super happy that you're here and we'll be right back. We got other comments coming in and we're going to take them when we come right back. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Lotus for Shay Ignite Show. We are here to inspire and empower you and ignite the fire of success within you so that you can ignite and take flight in every area of your life. All right, I got to tell y'all this. When Cordelia said too much coffee or tea, I started to put my cup down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I started to put my cup down. When she said too much coffee or tea, I started to put my cup down. But we're back. Thank you for being here with us. We appreciate you. Um, we had a comment, and, and the person said low self-esteem or lack of purpose or don't know who they are as mentioned. So I appreciate that. And um, for those of you that are just coming in, we appreciate you being here tonight. I have the remarkable uh, Cordelia Jafar. She is an amazing, amazing lady. She has her own radio show. She's the host of a uh, free to be show. I was recently on her show. She knocked both of my socks off and she's just bringing the heat tonight helping people understand that you can really be who you are and, and be what you want to be, but you've really got to face yourself and then you've got to take action. But most importantly, you've got to go within. And as we're nearing the top of the hour, I want to ask you, how can people go within so that they can heal themselves so that they live a better life without. Yeah. You know, I have two invitations for you. You know, first and foremost, um, I have a free Facebook group, which is called replenish me. And we, I, I ask some interesting group uh, questions to the group every day. Um, so we can introspect. Um, and for those of you who are new to personal development, I have started a membership just this month, which is called the Replenish Me membership. And, um, you know, it's an investment 
in yourself time wise and you know the mm -hmm. best part of it because i'm the type of person where i i can't do something without making sure that many people benefit so when you join the membership 20 percent of that goes to support um another friend of ours she phoenix Fem Fem phoenix Yes. Um, which advocates for teen moms. And um, actually she's moving all over the world now, um, but originally <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was just South Africa, but yes. now, um, yeah, now she, this month uh, she's actually, and I'm, I'm one of the coaches, she is um, coaching girls in South Africa, uh, mm -hmm. Congo, Nigeria, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we know that we can go to replenish me. I have it right there on the, um, on the screen. Go ahead and write that down. I always say note takers are money makers. So don't forget to take that information down and you can also go and, um, sign up, uh, be, be a part of replenish me. And all you've got to do is very simple. Just go right here and get that information. Just type that in and go right there. It'll take you to it and you can gain membership to replenish me. So can you tell us a little bit more about replenish me and what it aims to do to help people? Right. So first of all, we start with recreating those habits. Um, so the, the, um, the first steps are just to take care of your body. Um, and so we have the replenish and boost your immune system for the first part of the membership. And then right. we have the expert trainings to help you to release the mm -hmm. things that are accepted and expected and, um, and refresh your inner circle and, and then rebirth and show up powerfully in the world. Right. So, and, and I love how you say to show up powerfully in the world because a lot of us are not showing up. We're actually hiding. We're hiding behind different things. We're not showing up. And that's really unfortunate because we are designed to show up and to show up powerfully, okay? To show up powerfully. And of course, Cordelia, you've been um, really traveling all over the world. You've been uh, around with some wonderful people and you're always helping people. You're always doing various things like this thing that you did recently. You did it on March 7th in Gainesville. So Cordelia is all over helping women help themselves to ignite and take flight, but most importantly to replenish themselves. Okay. And, and coming up, she's got an event coming up soon that's going to help you help yourself ignite and take flight and replenish yourself. So can you tell the folks about some, some other things that you have coming up to help them replenish themselves? Right. So, um, well, since we can't travel, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can't travel right now. Right. But have, have, have show, have virtual show will travel. Yes. So, yeah. So I, you know, I, I do do monthly events, but, um, right now I have a virtual retreat, um, which is happening, uh, this, it starts this Saturday, the awaken and replenish retreat. Mm -hmm. Um, and that'll go for three weekends. And the concept sounded so great that, um, you know, after I recorded an interview with Lotus, we had to think on what that would look like if we yes. duplicated that. So um, we'll have another, you know, virtual retreat sometime in the fall. Yes, we're we're gonna have a retreat, and let me let me I I want to share this with you. <laughs> she's probably gonna she's gonna get me for this, folks. But I'm gonna share this with you because if you attend her retreat, she got, she does retreats and masterminds. If you attend her retreat, this is how you're gonna come out looking. You're gonna be all smiles, folks. <laughs> you're gonna be all smiles. I'm telling you. Okay, so we have a, a retreat that's coming up, and the retreat is. Uh, to help people break the chains that bind. And this is what it looks like. We're going to help you unlock the chains that are binding you. 
unlock the chains that bind. And this is going to take place, I think it's going to be in September, and we'll be coming back to you soon to tell you about this retreat and help you get on board with this retreat. We're also going to have other healers that want to be involved with this retreat that may come aboard. I know one healer in particular is on this show right now. She's going to be on board. She's going to be participating as a person that's going to be there. She's coming not to, to heal, but she's coming to replenish herself and help herself unlock the chains that bind. So make sure you come and join us for Unlock the Chains That Bind in September. Because when you unlock the chains that bind, what happened is you change your mind. Therefore, you change your emotions and how you behave. But in order to get it to any of that, you have to unlock the chains that bind. And Cordelia and I are going to show you, and your friends, how to unlock the chains that bind. And yes, we'll be doing uh, certificates. If you want to gift it to someone, you'll be able to gift it to someone to help them unlock the chains that bind. And if you want to come with somebody, your spouse, your significant other, or whomever, it's virtual and we're going to welcome you to help yourself ignite and take flight as you join in the retreat, unlock the chains that bind. And so with that being said, we're going to come back to you. We're going to give you the dates. We're going to let you know everything you need to know about this phenomenal retreat, unlock the chains that bind. You're going to love it. You're going to be really um, blown away in a miraculous way. It's going to help you do some things in your life that you never thought possible. And Cordelia is phenomenal at it. And I'm phenomenal at it. So you got the two phenomenons coming together and it's going to be amazing. And just in case you guys didn't know, Cordelia is going to tell you a little bit about her logo because we thought that we were blown away. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to tell them a little bit about your logo? So it's funny, like when I wanted to come up with the logo for the Replenish Me um, program, I thought, okay, let me um, use the lotus flower. And what happens when that lotus emerges out of the mud is that it radiates love and light. And so my logo is a lotus flower with the sun rays coming out of it. And it's like remarkable because Lotus, <laughs> her, of course, of course, her name is Lotus, right? So, um, but that is the Lotus flower also. So I yes, think, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So we've got, thank you. And of course you guys know my local is the Lotus flower with the, the spirit person really um, moving up out of the mud. Uh, shaking off the mud and the mud for some of you that may not be familiar with my logo and my message, the mud is the, the strains and pains of life, the rapes, the divorces, the, the, the lost jobs, the, the, the not believing in yourself, the depression, the agony, the agony of defeat, not the feet left and right feet, but just feeling defeated in life. That's what the mud is. And on this retreat, we are going to help you help yourself shake off the mud and help you unlock the chains that bind. Because you cannot move up to your best self if you have chains that bind. And we're going to help you unlock the chains that bind. So very quickly, we have several comments. I want to take some comments um, that are coming up. And Cordelia has an upcoming retreat this weekend, right, Cordelia? Right, this weekend. So, so if you put the in the chat, Cordelia, put a little more information. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you. Okay. okay. And and don't forget, folks, get your replenishment um membership. Go ahead and get your replenishment membership. You will be happy that you did. You're going to love it. It's a great 
thing to do. Uh, you want to get your replenish membership because once you replenish yourself, once you take yourself to the next level, you're going to be better than you ever were before. So please get your membership. And thank you, KJ. Okay. I got that. <laughs> and KJ said, no takers are money makers. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. No takers are money makers. And don't forget, don't forget to get my journal and my notebook that says notebook, no takers are money makers. If you want my notebook, uh, so you can start taking notes, get at me and I'll get at you and let you know. And, and I love this because KJ said creating habits. One, take care of the body. Yes, take care of the body. And also, uh, she said, Cordelia, uh, great information. Thanks for sharing with us. And thank you all for letting us share uh, with you. And, and, and of course, you want to show up powerfully in the world. And here, I want to grab this comment from Lynn Herod Diversion. She says, thank you, Cordelia. You have wonderful energy and all that you offer is a great way for people to begin their inner journey to self-development. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe that KJ has a virtual retreat that's coming up. It's starting eight, July 18th for three weeks. And that's phenomenal because guess what? Our, our uh, retreat will also be how many weeks, Cordelia? Three weeks. So she was saying that my retreat starts on July 18th. Exactly. So, yeah. so it's a, and, and the, the beauty in that, I want to just explain the mindset behind that. Because normally when we travel, right, yes. we go someplace for three, four days. Yes. And then we get back home and we're like, wait, where's that notebook? And how do I do that? And how do I, yes. this way we drop a concept first weekend, you go and yep. live your life for a week, right? Yep. Then you can go back to that safe place and say, this is what I implemented. This is the result. And, um, and then you go back and you get some more tools. Yes. And then again, you live life for that week. And then you come back and you get closure and we just don't leave you hanging after the, the three weekends. Then it's like a 30 day follow up. Right. And then a 60 day follow up because like I wanted to say anyone been on a retreat and then you didn't have closure and then you felt like you were hanging out in the wind. I always hated that feeling and I didn't ever want to do that um, when I have my own. So. Fantastic. Thank you for talking about our logos. Thanks, KJ. That's right. Unlock the chains that bind. But make sure this weekend you get there, you get there, you get there because it's going to be phenomenal this weekend. Like we said, it's going to be a three week thing. You're going to love it. And then we're coming back. We're going to join forces. Uh, we've already joined forces actually for September for unlocking the chains that bind. But first this weekend, you want to go ahead and replenish yourself. And once you get that replenishment and you carry on over, we're going to see you with unlocking the chains that bind coming in September. So listen, we are a little bit past the top of the hour. And I know that you have a lot of great stuff going on. So can you tell us what else you got going on, how we can contact you, how people can connect because they want to know. <laughs> so the best way to find out all the stuff that's going on is besides my Facebook page um, is going to CordeliaGaffar.com, right? Um, and that's where you can uh, listen to my, my podcasts, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, find out about my events and, um, my coaching programs. So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but currently like in about an hour, um, I like on Wednesday nights, I have my group coaching program. Um, so, and that will end at uh, the end of this month. So, yeah. All right. Fantastic. And, and you heard her say she's got one-on-one -on -one and group coaching. So if you want to get at her, go to CordeliaGaffar.com. CordeliaGaffar.com. Cordelia, how do we say that? It's Cordelia Gaffar. Yeah. What else? Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Can you say that again? CordeliaGaffar.com. Can you say that again? 
CordeliaGaffar.com. Say it one more time. CordeliaGaffar.com. So we joined and we said it together because we want you to get it on your brain so you won't go insane and let Cordelia help you with your one-on-one coaching and your group coaching. And we really appreciate you. You can get at her through any of these ways, contact her, reach out to her and move from denial and walking and start walking in your truth. And Cordelia Gaffar will help you get there. So Cordelia, Will you have some last words, some last nuggets, some last jewels? Get your pens and pads, folks, because she's about to lay some last little nuggets down before we say good evening. Cordelia. So remember that you are the creator of your elevated opportunity. You can just slow down with each interaction and show up more powerfully. You can do that every single day and every single moment. I love it. Thank you. She's so powerful, simple, short, and to the point. Want to say hi, Daryl Nance. He's streaming in. Let us know where you're streaming in. Patrice Campbell, thank you for joining the show. Veronica Buffy Farce, Wimberly, good to see you. Gerald Peterson, thank you for joining the show. And so many more people are, are streaming in. Daisy Rache, good to see you. Thank you for joining the show. I saw you there earlier. Barbara Austin, thank you for joining the show. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I see so many hearts and thumbs going up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Daryl Nance, my main man. Love you, brother. Good to see you, Karen, and 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 just everybody out there. Um, I just so appreciate you. Just you're so amazing. We love you. We appreciate you. And if you haven't yet, like, shared, and started a watch party. Please like, share, and start a watch party because this is how we help people help themselves ignite and take flight and begin to take control of every area of their life. So thank you so much, Cordelia. I'm so happy that you were here on the show tonight. Thank you for having me on your show as well uh, because it's unequivocal. We must work together. We must help each other and we must understand that we're not losing anything when we bring other people to our platforms. We're gaining relationships. We're gaining things that God really wants us to have. Why? Because it puts us in flow. It puts us in flow. And if you didn't know, we love Gimsky TV. And I share this with you. Drink Izumio, Izumio water. Why? Because we love Izumio because this is hydrogenated water and it has hydrogen in it. And the hydrogen penetrates the cellular membrane so that your body can heal itself at a quicker pace. Someone was asking me, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? So I told them I'd show it tonight. So with that being said, we appreciate you. Don't forget to meet Cordelia this weekend at her retreat. And one last time, can you please tell them about your retreat one more time and how to get a hold of you? Right. It's, um, bit.ly awaken and replenish retreat and this weekend we'll be starting off with the release of everything that is not serving us what's expected and and expected and we um will be detoxifying our vibration and then moving into uh you know the the following weekends we'll just build upon that so, but come, we're starting. Oh, I didn't tell you what time, right? So we start yeah, Saturday. Time. time is important. <laughs> so Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, right. Right. And it's uh, three hour sessions. So it's from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern yes. Standard Time. So um, show some dedication to yourself. Okay. Right. Show some dedication to yourself. Um, If you're in Europe or some other place that's five hours ahead, this is your, it's a choice. Yes. You you can, you know, it's a Saturday night, right? So you have a choice. You can, um, you probably can't go to a club right now anyway. So you might as well. (laughs) You might as well. That's right. That's right. So folks, get your, get your, get yourself together and join, join us on this retreat. 
You're going to have a lovely time. It's 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. East Eastern Eastern. Standard time. I'm, I'm in the East Coast. Okay, I thought I, I thought I put it there right. But it's Easter Standard Time. Easter Standard Time. What time would it be for people in Central Standard Time? So it would be 4 to 7. 4 to 7. So make sure you join us at 4 to 7 Central Standard Time and 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Replenish Retreat. Make sure you're there. Oh, and guess what? If you tell them that you heard about the Replenish Retreat, when you go and buy your ticket, because it's a ticket, right? Yep, it's a ticket. They buy a ticket. When you go and you buy your ticket, you got to get a hold of Ms. Jafar. And, and look, when she tells me that you contacted her, I'm going to send you a special gift. Yes, you're going to get a cup from me. That's right. And so all you have to do is send me your mailing address. It can be a P.O. box. That's perfectly fine. And you this beautiful cup from the Lotus Roche Ignite Show because we're happy to have you. So with that being said, we thank you. We appreciate you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And don't forget to get in to the Replenish Retreat. Good night. Good night. Welcome to the Lotus Roche Ignite Show. We are here to inspire and empower you and ignite the fire of success within you so that you can ignite and take flight in every area of your life. So many people out there today are saying, hey, Lotus, I want to start my own podcast. I want to do blogs and blogs and all that. Well, guess what? We help you with personal and business coaching. We also help you to explode your brand by upbranding. We also connect you to people beyond your front yard that don't even know you. Let us help you connect with people globally and expand your territory. Contact us today at lotusignite at gmail.com and let's schedule your discovery meeting now.